Well, after many requests, everybody's asking, so I'm a big guy, I want to wear wings or not. How do I go about doing that? Well, here's the secret. There is no secret. Just accept the fact that you're a big guy, you gotta use a Nicky knot, you gotta use a half Windsor, maybe even a foreign hand or something horrible. That's not true. There's a little secret when it comes to Windsor knot and the big man, and most of that is called the vest. Yes, my tie is too short, I'm 100% Irish, don't be too shocked. Anyway, so a Windsor knot perform makes this really nice knot. It's nice and triangular, it's thick, it works well on a big guy's neck, but then you gotta deal with this. So how the heck is that helping you? I kind of look like a purple wimpy. Anyway, so I'm wearing, this is an old Brooks Brothers tie. It's 63 inches long, which is actually an extra long tie to begin with. It's 4 inches wide, which is very wide for today, since most of the ones out there are 3 and a half inches at the most, and even them, they're going to like the 3 and a quarter inch lately, which is just awful. If you buy me a hamburger today, maybe I'll pay you back next Tuesday. Anyway, so this is... Uh, how you start a Windsor knot, basically you've got uh, both of your ends of your tie facing forward and then you have to figure out now where am I going to start doing my knot. You actually have to start pretty far down. I think most people would even start their knots tends to be more closer to up here, but you need so much extra um, fabric you really have to start at a very uh, low point here just to be able to get this wrapped around enough times. So essentially you're looking at this at the tie, you're going to have it long end over the short end, and you're going to pull it up behind. Then you're going to go around the back, like that. Then you're going to come back down through the middle. So you formed a good triangular point here. One thing i got to say, keep all this stuff straight. If this starts getting all messy, it's just going to make it harder when you try to get a dimple in your tie. Anyway, so once you're in that position, you're going to go back around one more time, and then you're going to come up and around, and then you've got, which you can tell, is a very short tie. I don't know what to tell you, you're a big guy, unless you want to get like a 70 plus inch tie, which you could, you could try to do it, but then you got to make sure that all of the lengths and the widths are correct, uh, so that when you actually make the tie, it's not this tiny little knot with this giant uh, tie at the end of it. The very last part here is where you're going to take the tie up and we're going to go through the actual knot itself. So this is where I spend a good portion of my, uh, well, probably my morning. So dimple, so I've got this down here. Make sure that everything is nice and, uh, <clears throat> and smooth and that it's not already crinkling before you even start pulling. And then you start pulling, you'll start to see a knot form and you'll see maybe two knots start to form, which will drive me nuts. So you gotta keep working it and working it, trying to see if you can get it out so that there's a single knot when you're done. And you keep pulling down so you do get a good length. I mean, you need a decent length even if you're going to wear a vest, right? I don't know what you do. So there you go. Got a nice triangular knot. Pretty big and thick. The more I keep pulling it down, the better it's going to be. You pull it down. Make sure that this one's alright. Close it out. Pull it down. And you can see that that's why I have no life. Everybody always asks me, how long does it take for you to get dressed in the morning? It's like, it takes me five minutes to put a suit on. It takes me like half an hour to get a good dimple. And finally, just going to close up your collar here. Make sure your collar stays are in. I'm going to close the neck. And then pull it up. Remember the dimple changes every time you move it, so you're going to have to get it to the right place so that it kind of fits and forms this nice triangular shape. Well, obviously I'm not going to continue to wear the tie like this if I walk out. Uh, it's going to look pretty stupid. So in comes the vest. So on a big guy especially, this can save you a lot of grief. If you get it tailored right, this way, when you're doing this, <clears throat> this tie is going to form a nice triangular shape. With the collar, the tie, the tie, and then this here down to the uh, decent gorge on the vest. There you go. You're a big guy with a good wind knot. You too can finally be as strange as I am.